guys, it's Mr. Proud. We're gonna go through and talk about how to do your uh, four-legged animal sculpture using your materials in your bag. You should have a thing of tin foil that we folded up for you that you should be able to use. You should also have a bottle of tacky glue. Use your scissors and cut off that top little notch right there so that you can squeeze the glue out. You'll probably need some kind of dish that you can wash the glue out afterwards because you're gonna put glue and water together. You'll also need your roll of masking tape and your little packet of colored tissues. Um, and these are little squares. Don't open these until you're ready to use them. Um, but if you could put them in a Ziploc bag or just pull out the sheets that you need so that you can get the extras back. Great. So the first thing we're gonna do is start by um, looking at the uh, object. You should have gone through um, on Google, search for a four-legged animal that you want to uh, sculpt. Um, it doesn't matter what it is as long as it has four legs and it can stand on those four legs. Um, so I would choose one that is standing on four legs instead of this, the two. You'll have a harder time with structural integrity. And so I've chosen to do a cow and I've gone through and I've got a few pictures um, of cows here that I can use to look at to help me with putting the parts together. So I'm going to set these pictures aside where I can still see them um, so that I can look at the parts of those cows. Um, and then I'm going to use the tin foil. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the tin foil and I'm gonna cut out parts to make for the shape of the, uh, the cow's body. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start by cutting out um, a big enough piece to do the body. Now the part about aluminum foil is that it is very lightweight. It crinkles up really easily. Um, and I could do this really, really tight, but then I would take me a lot of tin foil to get there. And I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna take and crumple this up into a ball. Um, but I wanna do it very softly so that I don't uh, smash it all together. And it's okay to leave the air in there. I'm gonna kind of crumple that up and give it kind of a potato shape for that part of the body. And there we have a start to the body and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna set that aside. And then I'm gonna cut out some pieces for the legs. And this should be about enough for the legs. Now the legs, I'm gonna kinda exaggerate. If I look at the legs on the cow, they're very, very thin and I'd have a harder time getting them to stand. So you'll notice on the elephant, I kind of made them fat and then flat on the bottom um, by putting a piece there and a little bit thicker on the bottom. So I'm gonna take that tin foil and then just kind of wad that up and kind of roll it and wad it and make it kind of flat on the bottom so it stands. Roll it kind of like a hot dog and then just kind of press down on it here, making them about the same size. I've got four legs, now I need to go do the head and ears and other things like that. So I'm gonna start with the head. And I'm gonna look at that face right there and try to kind of create that snout. So same thing, kind of roll it up. And give it that same elongated shape there and then just a little bit narrower like that something like that for the uh, face to start and I can kind of keep pressing it but I'm going to leave it right there for a minute and then I can go in after and add this little part here go in and add some eyes if I need to put a little more lump and then some more in the neck because um, I'll also need to go in and do this neck, a little bit of droopy here, 
um, bring this up here and then put those in and then I'll probably also need a tail. So I'm gonna take and make some ears. So I'll just take one of these. Um, and on this, because it's abstract, I can exaggerate those and make those, but you'll notice even unexaggerated, she's got some really big ears. I wanna be the smile. I wanna see the change. I wanna be your friend from the start. And once it starts, it never ends. I wanna be your pal. I wanna be around. I wanna be your friend when you are down. I wanna be the sunshine on your smile. The ears there. I set that aside. And then I'm ready to go through and start. Now, I can add other parts to it afterwards. So I'm going to set those aside and put my tin foil aside. And the next part is to then go in and start attaching. Now, obviously, that's not going to attach to itself. Um, I could, um, but we're going to use a different method with the uh, masking tape. Um, each of you should have a roll of masking tape that you're going to go in. And you're going to go in, and I want you to cover the entire thing or each of the pieces with masking tape. You wanna do it completely to where you can't see any of the tin foil. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to do that. And you just take and rip off one piece at a time and then just kind of place it over the top and stretch it and keep covering it. You go all the way around and wrap it. covered in tape and I just want to go through and check it make sure none of the tin foil is showing make sure that the tape is smoothed out if I need to build it up looking at the picture I might go in and build more parts if I wanted to I could go in and put more of a belly but I think overall I'm pretty happy with the way that the uh, couch a way to break down all the walls I think I found a way to say I think I found a way to say hello I think I found a way Without saying anything at all